Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Mullet Mike here, bringing you a creepy gaming extra. This is the show for people who just can't get enough creepy gaming. In this series, I will be giving updates, follow-ups to previous episodes, covering subjects that I don't feel merit a full episode, or giving a preview to a future creepy gaming. Now that's what I call a run-on sentence. Today, I will be covering the notorious Wii U title, Zombie U. Being the holiday season, plus all the new consoles coming out, it reminds me of this time last year. The Wii U had just arrived, and this was one of the system's launch titles. Now, this game, at the time of its release, was pretty controversial. I don't know if I've ever seen a game with such a mixed response. Some players loved it and praised it for its innovative features, Others hated it and thought the game itself should die a terrible, virus-ridden death. It all started with the initial reviews of the game. Some websites gave Zombie U a very low review, causing some gamers to find this outrageous. Others felt that the game was an underrated masterpiece. I personally feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. It's not the greatest game of all time by far, but I definitely don't think it's as bad as a lot of people have made it out to be. I feel like if more people played the game and judged it for themselves, then Zombie U could be appreciated for some pretty intense scares. I'm guilty of it myself. I started the game and didn't really get into it. I quit and just started playing something else. Which is not like me, by the way. If I start a story, I usually finish it, good or not. The point I'm trying to make, and been trying to make this whole time, is that I think most people didn't play long enough to get to the nursery level which is terrifying. I've gotten a lot of requests to cover the Zombie U Nursery, so for those of you who requested it, this one is for you guys. Developed by Ubisoft, you play as a random survivor placed in the middle of an intense zombie outbreak. Might sound pretty cliche, but there is more of a paranormal twist to these zombies. Plus, the London setting and the Wii U gamepad features definitely give the game a unique feel. The original name for the game was Killer Freaks from Outer Space. That should tell you something right there. At one point in the game, you must retrieve some antibiotics from the nursery for a fellow survivor and his family. When arriving, you'll discover that all the staff and children have been eaten. The nursery setting will send chills down your spine. All the banners, toys, and water paintings will give you a really uneasy feeling. Anything that involves children just makes things that much creepier. The strange whispers and ambient sounds create a disturbing atmosphere. Not only that, but your Wii U gamepad will show a static screen as if there's some kind of interference. All of these factors just add to the anticipation. You will eventually discover that there is a lone nurse responsible for the deaths of the children and staff. This is what happens next. Okay, so it made me jump, I ain't gonna lie. I could describe the nursery level all day long, but I'm afraid my words just can't do it justice. You just gotta go experience it for yourself. Be your own judge. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me today, folks. I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am Ole Mike with a sticky paddle and you saying keep it sticky, stay creepy. Thanks for watching, peace.